I was turning 35, I decided I really needed to have a full-blown comprehensive physical exam, and it turned out that I had hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. About three years ago, my dad died suddenly in our backyard gardening on a Saturday afternoon, and so that event sort of caused some more red flags, I think, for not just myself, but my entire family. And so we went back to our doctors, our cardiologists, and sort of dug a little bit deeper. One of the most common inherited cardiovascular diseases is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is a disease where a genetic change in the gene that codes for the heart muscle causes the heart to become thicker and stiffer. Both of my parents had heart attacks. Both survived them, luckily, but never knew I had high cholesterol until I was 21, and it was the very beginning of knowing about FH. Familial hypercholesterolemia is caused by mutations that affect the body's ability to recycle LDL cholesterol. So this leads to very high levels of LDL cholesterol in the blood, which translates into higher risk for heart disease. Since I've been coming here, I feel like I am doing the best I possibly can at getting the best information available. In terms of me feeling like I need to Google it, I don't have to do that. I'm at the mothership. When you take rare conditions where most people have only ever seen one case and put them in one place, you start to see patterns. Very often those insights that we get directly from our patients here in the clinic lead to a spark of a new way to treat the condition. And then that can lead to a new pharmaceutical. One of the really big things that's different about getting care at the Center for Inherited Cardiovascular Disease here at Stanford versus getting care with any of your other doctors is the fact that we're really caring for the whole family. You're here for your own care, but we're also thinking about your children and your brothers and your sisters and your cousins and your parents. The cool thing is that there are a number of options where for me and any potential family I have moving forward, I can stop this disease sort of dead in its tracks with me. Every single inherited heart condition that we know of to date has a treatment. And that's why it's so important that family members who feel healthy but have a heart condition in their family get evaluated because there is treatment, and sometimes that treatment is life-saving. When we talk about this in our family, or I'm bugging my kids in their 20s to make sure they're taking their medicine or going and seeing the doctor, I will say in an email, this is your mother who's given you great hair, but who also gave you FH, emailing you to remind you that it's time for your annual appointment. So it's all just part of a big fruit basket, and I try and include the FH along with some of the positive things they've gotten from me, which I believe there are many. I made a joke to Dr. Ashley when I was officially diagnosed that he and I were gonna be good friends for a long time. So <laughs> I think if there's anything that I feel after this whole experience, it's just gratitude. <laughs>